Well, I guess it depends on whether the culture has a space for queer characters. Not that many cultures necessarily do, but sometimes you will get the characters that start uh, breaking gender lines. And so there's a, famous, uh, there's a famous story from the Ramayana in Hinduism about Rama leaving to go on his journey. And everyone in the city uh, so admires their hero that they all are following him and they won't leave him alone. And he finally gets to this river and he, he sort of treats it as a boundary mark. And he turns around to the crowd and says, okay, all of you women and all of you men, you're wonderful, but go home. Because I'm gonna go on my adventure and you don't need to come with me. So all the men go home and all the women go home. And all the people who are neither men nor women stay. Fascinating, right? And so Rama goes off on his adventures, comes back, and he sees these people still waiting at the river for him. And he goes, ah, you are blessed ones. You shall be called Hijra. And these are people who are queer. They're on this sort of trans spectrum. And so they have a space in the mythology, you know? And sometimes you get Mulans or Boudicas or, you know, different characters like that, either historically, legendarily, or mythologically. So it just depends on whether whether the, the culture has room for that. Or if you have Achilles agonizing over the death of Patroclus, and you go, were they not lovers, right? And right. that is more plot rather than sad. Right, but that's because Greek culture had room for those kinds of relationships between men, you know, and, and actually encouraged it. So it, it really depends on whether, whether there's space for that in the culture.